Hey friends, are you dull? You know, there's nothing worse in life than trying to shave with a dull razor. And uh, some of you aren't shaving yet, I realize, but once you discover this in life, it's really an important lesson. And the Bible talks about Christians who are dull. They're not acute uh, in, their, in their devotion to the Lord. They're not growing in the grace and knowledge of Jesus. In other words, they've, they become dull of hearing is the way it's worded in the scriptures. And there's four verses around this in the book of Hebrews. Now, the book of Hebrews is about Jesus being better. Jesus is a better high priest. Jesus is, a, uh, uh, is better than angels. Jesus is better than Moses. He's better than Aaron. And so Jesus is better is the key line through the book of Hebrews. By the time we get to chapter 5, he's talked about Jesus from a different priestly order as the high priest of the order of Melchizedek. So he's a better high priest than the Old Testament priests that we read about in the book of Leviticus and 1 Samuel, etc. And, and then he says this. It's an amazing passage. There's four verses that revolve around this idea of becoming dull of hearing. God doesn't want us dull of hearing. He wants us to be sharp. He wants us to be quick learners. Listen to these words. We're going to read all four verses. And then over the next uh, four Tuesdays, we're going to kind of like zero in on on one each time. But listen to these words. It says, now concerning him, concerning Jesus, we have much to say. There's a lot to talk about Jesus. He is eternal. He is God. You can't exhaust him. But it says, we have much to say about him, and it's hard to explain. Why? Since you become dull of hearing. Dull of hearing. For though by this time, in other words, you've trusted Christ, time has gone on, by this time you ought to be teachers, you have need again for someone to teach you the elementaries, the ABCs of the oracles of God. You, should, you are in need of milk and not solid food. In other words, you would choke if I gave you a real steak, a spiritual steak. For everyone who partakes only of milk is not accustomed, listen to this, to the word of righteousness, for he is an infant. But solid food, the steaks, are for the mature, who because of practice have their senses trained to discern good from evil. So in order for us to determine good from evil in the days in which we are living, we've got to take in solid food. Well, how come we're not able to take in solid food? Oh, it's too deep. It's too hard. It's too difficult thinking about these things. Listen. God does not want us to become dull of hearing. In other words, to put spiritual blinders on our eyes, uh, muffs over our ears, he expects us to be attentive to spiritual things. In other words, Spirit of God, teach me. When I'm reading the passage, Lord, teach me. When I go to church, Lord, teach me. And the anticipation that God has something unique and powerful and significant for us. Friends, God doesn't want us dull He wants us sharp. Let me read again to you verse 11. Concerning Jesus, we have much to say, but it's hard to explain. And why is it hard to explain? Because this group of people in that generation had become dull of hearing. I mean, we had a lot to learn about Jesus. So let's not be dull in our hearing. You ready to pray? Lord, I'm thankful for my friends. Thank you for letting us spend this time together. Thank you for this great passage Lord, we do want to discern good from evil in the days in which we are living. And I realize many in the church today, many who claim to be followers of Jesus, cannot. And here we know why. Because they haven't been able to take in solid food. They haven't taken in solid food. Why? Because they become dull of hearing. God, help us to be sharp for Jesus. Help us to be quick learners. Help us to be attentive. Help us to be humble before you. Help us to look at the scriptures and say, Lord, speak. Your servant is listening. Help us not to challenge the scriptures. Help us to hear and obey. Help us to remember the words of Jesus. Blessed is he who hears the word and does it. God, thank you for my friends. Give us grace in this, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, if you're just joining us, verse for the day, Hebrews chapter 5, verse 11. Concerning Jesus, we have much to say. And it's hard to explain. And the reason it's hard to explain is because we have a generation that's become dull of hearing. Hey, friends, be sharp for Jesus. Hold on to Jesus. Hold on to his promise. Hold on to his presence. He is going to carry us through.